Maui originated over two million years ago by one extinct volcano, the West Maui Mountains, and one dormant volcano, Haleakala. Eventually, their lava flows merged, creating the second largest island, covering 728 square miles, forming the Valley Isle. Haleakala, meaning House of the Sun, rises 10,023 feet above sea level. Most of the volcano is submerged underwater. The oldest rocks found above sea level date to about 910,000 years old. From the summit, you may feel particularly close to the gods when you gaze above the clouds. It's no wonder that Hawaiian kings and gods have called the island of Maui home. Within the lush mountains flow hundreds of waterfalls from steep cliffs, water from the gods that gives life to land. The valleys whisper their mysterious stories of the old days of King Kamehameha's conquest to unite the islands, where many of the battles to unite the islands were fought. Maui's west side valleys lead to beautiful resorts protected by Molokai and Lanai. The pico, or the navel of the islands, is Lahaina because it was roughly in the center of the chain. The quaint port was once the capital of the Hawaiian Islands over 300 years ago. You can still find fields of sugarcane and pineapple from the old plantation days. On the north shore of Maui, surfers have harnessed the wind and waves with their sails and surfboards. It's one of the premier surfing spots on the island, and Ho'okipa is considered the windsurfing capital of the world.
the far eastern tip of Maui is rich in Hawaiian history with the largest religious temple in the Hawaiian Islands, Pi'ilani Heiau, covering almost three acres and establishing the first community in Hana. Isolated until 1927, when the road to Hana was completed, with over 600 twists and turns, revealing beauty at every turn. Although the original Hana Airport was built in 1935, and the modest inn, the Hotel Hana Maui, followed in 1946, the village has kept its tranquil beauty. <laughs> 